Okay, hello everyone. Foul play here, back for this modern lane. Uh, this is game two. We just beat G Amulet in game one yesterday. We are versing Savok. Uh, I recognize the name, I can't recall a deck though. Um, okay, so we can't keep this hand because um, it doesn't have a creature. Dried Arb is not quite going to cut it in most circumstances. Alright, well, this has got a much better aura suite, um, but. Oh, uh, maybe I can keep it because of double, double Umbra. Alright, let's risk it. Uh, I'm going to bottom an ethereal armor here. Lead on Misty Rainforest. Uh, it is Tronlia Verso. Yikes. The, ooh. Ethereal armor not, is not a bad one. Uh, the question is, is it Eldrazi Tron or regular Tron? I'd prefer Eldrazi Tron if I'm being entirely honest here. <clears throat> so I just gamble that it's Eldrazi Tron. Um, <laughs> and then they don't have the spatial. Oh, I guess we have to assume they don't have spatial contortion. Um, let's go ahead and get that dried arbor happening. Well, hopefully if it's a regular Tron, their hand is completely cluttered full of creatures like Worm Coil Engine, because I can deal with Worm Coil Engine. Um, let me just go ahead and throw down Double Aura. Uh, so Spider Umbra, Ethereal Armor, and Pass. That makes our creature a 4-4, four four. it will still die to, to a Dismember. <coughs> Of course it will die to a Khan, at which point I probably just concede having missed my next land drop. Uh, if I draw a creature I would have missed a land drop and like, I've got good auras in my hand but it's very unlikely I'll be making it back into the game. Khan the Great Creator, okay, so bridge, then I kill Khan, then I lose because you eventually just win off of the fact that you've got this stupid card which shuts me from attacking, cool. Fun game, good game. <sighs> Excellent. That's what I like to see. Why? <laughs> Why play anything that doesn't just stop a creature deck from winning the game on the spot? Like, uh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Why is this still a card that is legal? Oh my goodness. Another card in the Great Creator. Okay, look at that. Quinn has got the goods. Wonder if he's going to start attacking our mana base now with the uh, liquid metal coating. Um, yep, here comes a liquid metal coating. Um, guess he's just gonna tap down either my dried umber, arbor or my uh, rankle on draw step on tap step. So I can kill this second calm, but I might be in trouble after that. But, you know, our opponent also does need a way to kill us. Um, now I don't see a walking ballista just yet, so... Uh, I'll just leave the rest of my auras in hand. Uh, if I can potentially... Maybe he's just holding land and I can just attack him for three multiple turns in a row. Alright, well I can go up to a four power creature if I want. I'm not sure that's what I want to do though. I just attack for three again. Maybe daybreak the dried arbor. Thing is, if I throw hyena umbra down, um, okay. So 
uh, Temple Garden's an artifact land, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> because he doesn't have Khan out. Khan has a Stony Silence ability, a passive, <laughs> attached to it, which is just ridiculous. Um, so, land pass. Alright, let's just keep attacking for three. Might cycle this Horizon Canopy to see if I find something like a Core Spirit Dancer that I want to play. Alright, so Grispoon is not bad. <clears throat> well, if our opponent keeps drawing land for like another four turns, we will have the victory. Uh, and I, I still don't think I want to um, put any auras down. Just seems way too risky. Maybe I can put another ethereal on daybreak just to shore up or an ethereal on dried arbor to shore up that creature from dying. <sighs> Talisman. Okay. Now we're seeing some tech. Ah, yikes. Okay, so Snapcaster Mage. So they were chilling for blue mana there. Okay, well that makes me look a little bit silly, not putting down Hyena Umbra or Grispoon. Um, okay, okay. So Bluetron, my absolute nemesis. Um, yep. No. <laughs> Is it bad if I just want to concede the game without going to game two or three? Because this is ridiculous. Like, look at this bullshit. Holy crap. Is this is this destroy at least? Okay, so a totem armor will trigger if he targets the dried arbor. Um But yeah, this is just ridiculous. He doesn't even need to do anything because he's just got bridge and we just lose. <laughs> the smart thing would be to go to the Temple Garden Plains here. Uh, hopefully he targets the Dried Arbor instead. Spider Umber Trigger. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, looks like we drew a Bogle. Throw Bogle down. Really? He's got Counterspell? Go away with this stupid Syncopate. Or Condescend, same crap. Gee, I wonder, will I pay mana for this spell I can't pay mana for? Yeah, sure, let's let's do it. Good question, Moto, good question. Perfect question. Hmm. Ulamog? Or Giant Walking Ballista? Well, I mean, now that my opponent's found Walking Ballista, we just lose to that, right? Um, Alright, well. It's a blue Tron deck with Sundering Titan, Walking Ballista, Khan the Great Creator, and some Counter Magic. This is going to be fun. Um, okay, so Damping Sphere, Gadok Teg, Force of Vigor. I don't really like Savage Swipe here. Puff might be okay, though. Maybe. Because, you know, Sundering Titan. Um, maybe I don't want Puff.
Yeah, let's remove path. Let's go for suppression field, especially because we are on the play here. And uh, we've got to find a couple of cards to remove. Um, so I might remove a spider umbra and a gris spoon. Um, uh, probably Sentinel's Eyes over Grisburn. I think I like the flying in face of uh, potential block from Snapcaster Mage. Pretty convincing uh, eight cards we're bringing in here, though. Um, hopefully, they're good. Hopefully, they get the work done. Shut our opponent off of Tron Manor and all the rest. Um, sure, I'll keep this. <laughs> Gadok Tig, uh, let's let's see your strength, Gadok Tig. It's where you see like <laughs> just Chalice of the Void on one, and we just cry. Alright, let's get out our Gadok Tig and we can suppression field next turn into like a Hyena Umbra to help protect Gadok Tig um, from maybe a Fatal Push or something off of a Talisman. Has he got Dismember? Seriously? Oh, go away. <sighs> Holy crap. Can I just have a game of magic against this deck where I don't just get like fisted? This is ridiculous. Uh, yep, there's the counter spell. My opponent doesn't counter this. This is not right. Okay, there's a remand. Uh, so, like, already we're just completely tempoed out of the game because our opponent had dismember. Um, yep, and we pretty much lose from here. He's just holding up permission. Uh, now, probably for a syncopate, uh, counter this, and then, or condescend, I think it was. Um, and then we're just, like, super dead. We can't do anything. We don't have a creature. We can't even attack their board state. If we draw a green spell, we're just dead. Um, maybe I shouldn't have played that into the Condescend, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I really honestly do not think it matters in this matchup. Um, I think this is, like, as unwinnable as Counter's Company, if not worse. Um... Oh look, a creature. Watch it get condescended. <laughs> they don't always have it, unless uh, you need them to not have it, in which case they have like seven copies of it. Alright, uh, we'll throw down Hyena Umbra. Alright, we'll throw down Grispoon. No. If he's not got counter magic, we should probably go the Ethereal Armor for the clock. He's probably just got all his dust or something absolutely ridiculous. Why wouldn't he be drawn earlier when we're casting the Bogle? He could have potentially countered it. Alright, let's throw our auras down. Um, uh, Condescend, he can only make us pay 3, so let's lead on the Ethereal Armor. Uh, then if they counter the Grisfoon, we can just return it later, and it's not too bad. Alright, so Remand, we'll just jam it again. Alright. I don't know what our opponent's hand was doing other than dismembering a core spirit dancer or Gadok Teague there. Literally, he's done nothing all game. He'll probably still win. Um, <laughs> but, like, look at look at him do nothing, honestly. <laughs> Omen of the Sea, alright. Let's see a double scry bottom. That's, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Two cards on bottom. Alright, good. Good. 
We just chill for a bit, man. <laughs> we might actually get a get a win here potentially. That would be absolutely remarkable. Three mana, two seconds, grow. Okay. So he scried another two cards onto the bottom with the Omen uh, activation. And let's see where this Maze Mind Tome is going. Also on the bottom. Alright. I think we might actually just win this one. He's not casting an Ensnaring Bridge here. I don't know of any flying creatures. Cool. Alright. That was an extremely weird game. Um... I don't think we want Suppression Field here. It did, like, literally nothing. Uh, even if we resolved it then, look at the spells he cast, it would have done nothing. Might just bring back in the Spider Umbra and Sentinel's Eyes. Um, do I want Rest in Peace for Academy Runes? Seems narrow to me. Um, Alright, let's go with this. <coughs> Alright, I'll keep this. This hand looks really good. Alright, turn one map. And we draw the daybreak. I mean, can't can't we have like a hand like this into something like burn, or like <laughs> any of those matches that I played in the uh, championship qualifier last night? <laughs> like this hand is just great, but it's probably going to amount to nothing against a Tron deck or a blue Tron deck, I should say. Double tower. Oh, we might just be fetching a blast zone here. Might even be uh, fetching uh, blue mana so their counter spells can be live. Uh, I think the best line here is get totem armor. Um, I'm then going to look to resolve this ethereal armor because it, it will net more damage over time than the rancor will, and we do have two rancors. One Rancor, I might want to pitch Dual Force of Vigor, though. Um, but yeah. Resolve Ethereal Armor while we can. Definitely seems like a good idea to me. It's also, like, disguising information for our opponent there. Okay, Power Plant. So he's still going to try and assemble Tron. Well, if our opponent condescends this, we can just Ethereal Armor attack for a lot. Ether Gust? Okay. Well, that could just go on bottom. We, we don't need that on top. I hope that makes my opponent extremely scared. Attack for 8. Alright, let's go. Let's smack on in there. <laughs> Where is your Khan, opponent? Where is he now? <laughs> Doesn't look so good without natural Tron on turn three, does it? <laughs> mm. Mm. We actually gonna beat Blue Tron? Is that they could just like play Blast Zone and blow our creature up, um, and that wouldn't be great because I've got double green aura in hand and only one green green mana on the side here. All right, he plays plant and Khan. Okay, well we can just uh, go Rancor and trample over the top now. Rancor's adding four power as well. Hopefully no force of vigor. Come on, let's go. Bam. 
Bam. Okay, we, we beat Blue Tron. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is a rare day when that happens. wonder if there is a lotto running where I can buy a ticket because uh, that is very unexpected. All right. Um, thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for daily Bogles content, content and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you all and see you next time.